Well, a lot of the characters in this game are hated, so don't oh, be surprised wow. if yours is one of them. Very, very segregated world in the Smash community when we play characters that other people do not like. And all of a sudden, 81 after two neutral interactions. See, that's why people don't like Olimar. Yeah, that white Pikmin literally just racks up the damage like nothing. And 102, all of a sudden, yeah. You need, you really got to make your openings count against Olimar because he's super light, and it's, theoretically his disadvantage isn't very good. But his advantage state is crazy. You're taking so much percent. And he's effective at camping as well. Such weird tilt attacks, too. <clears throat> like, the up tilt just has that weird spin tornado. Like, I don't understand a lot of the properties behind this character. The up tilt? Yeah, the up tilt is one of the few moves that he doesn't use big bit. That's for the... Tries to be the lower coverage. Uh, so I were often to go high there. Alright, charging needles. Passive game here because... Um, Get it off of him. No! Never mind. <laughs> it's like a plague that you just don't want. Yeah. Uh, Cyber realized that um, Mark was trying to do two things there. He was trying to charge the needles and he was trying to uh, get the Pikmin off. He was like, alright, he's preoccupied with both of these. Now's my chance to mix it up, run off, and get the kill. <coughs> wow, look at the good stalling. Yeah, he meant, so throwing away the Pikmin is one way to make your cover go farther, but he wanted to keep the purple, so which is why he went, waited till he was right below the stage oh. so he could go there. Do you think there's like a weight system behind the recovery in the Pikmin? Oh, uh, yeah. The, um, the less Pikmin you have, um, the higher you go. Wow, I didn't know that. Actually. I don't know if like purple weighs more or something. That could be something. That could be interesting. It, it might... makes sense. He's a little bigger. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> just a little. <laughs> He's a <Fatty>. chunky. Fatty. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. We love you, purple. We love everyone. We cannot hate. Oh, no. Kind of defenseless without Pikmin near him. Yeah. Mark keeping Cyber at ledge. Backs up a little bit. <coughs> not seeing any of these crazy sheep combos that Void does. I'm not sure how practiced he is with all the crazy combos. But he's getting some decent combos. He's getting the percent that he needs to get doing. And there we are. 84%. Without the pressure. He's got the needles charged. Looking for the bouncy fish. That back hit connecting. I don't think I've ever seen back hit from the fish. Okay, I saw a clip the other day where I saw both front hit and back hit hit because it bounced him off the stage with oh, the front wow. hit and the back hit. It was crazy. Talk about unfortunate. <laughs> very, uh, very easily an even game if Mark can quickly take the stock. Thousand Fist on the shield actually punishes it. That's really hard to punish. I want to see a recovery kill with Sheik right now. <laughs> Alright. Down tilt up here. Taking the stock. All of them are being very light. Both these characters are light. We've seen a lot of light characters today. What's, what's that? We've seen a lot of light characters today. We got um, Villager, Kirby, Sheik, Olimar. <coughs> yeah, you're right. You know, um, I don't think we've seen any heavies. <laughs> yeah, she's fairly heavy. <coughs> Alright, getting the combos. However, the armor with the, the Pikmin call gets him out of it. Ooh, we've got so, some nice precise hits going on here. Lots of pressure with all these um, toilets and aerials. Um, Cyber is finding himself a little bit hard getting up the corner there, however, looking a lot better, much better position for him. There are these Pikmin doing what Olimar does, catching the high bouncing fish, and all of a sudden we got an even game again. And honestly, 7 83 on Olimar, 73 um, on Sheik. Could, honestly, looking better for Olimar, because Sheik wants the percent lead, and Sheik needs to be playing ahead, basically. Doesn't do super well at comebacks. <coughs> but definitely anyone's game here. Alright, both players offering to sit back, do their thing, throwing uh, needles, throwing Pikmin. Waiting for a mistake from the other player. Or the right chance to go in and do the damage. You saw him dash in there, that was. He thought that was the chance. We got stopped by a blue Pikmin. Alright, you see how. Um, the, pick, the lineup that uh, Pikmin lineup that um, Cyber has, that's the kill lineup. You see the blue Pikmin there? Yeah, what's blue good for? It's good for killing off the top with up throw. <laughs> really? Yeah. So the purples are really good for kill and the blues are kill. So late in the game, they late in the stocks, they want those. I never uh, really invested too much time in like paying attention to how much like Olimar's Pikmin like acted, I guess. So yeah. it's pretty good getting insight on that. <coughs> it's, 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 it's important. It's very, they, got, they use the, the yellows. The reds and the whites, I think, more for damage. I don't... Maybe yellow's just bad or something. I can't remember. 
Um, but then they want definitely the purples for the kill and the blues for the throw kill. <coughs> Alright, exact same stage, exact same music. Going back to small battlefield right away. Let's see if this game is a little bit faster than game one, because that was a little slow with both characters uh, often to sit back. A lot more pressure here. <coughs> the back air. Ooh, hits the Pikmin instead of Olimar there. Could have been a really good edge guard. And Wow, like why did it seem like it was in a strong. kill? Yeah, wow. <coughs> yeah, uh, might have been bad DI, but honestly, I think that's just Sheik's weight and Pearl being really strong, as I said. Really good for killing. <coughs> mm. yeah, you see Mark and Master going a lot for a lot of these bouncing fish, this is the main kill option, I think. Um, missing quite a few recently, though, not good for him. Looks like a missed grab there, too. Oh, wow, is that a blue? I didn't know blues could kill off the side like that. Sheik is so light. Alright, Bouncing Fish and Shield once again looking for this kill option. I don't think Bouncing Fish will kill quite yet. Yeah. Well, throwing purple did six. It's pretty decent. Six? That's it? Do well. That's what it looked like it did. I thought I did more. <laughs> <laughs> the cross stage under. Seeing how much damage Olimar racks up, I think it did more. <laughs> well, where Olimar gets the huge amount of his damage, when he gets these up smash combos, he gets double up smash combos into up smash. It's stupid. That's insane. Yeah, I know. Man. And then it combos into like up air and up air again, you get like 60%. It's stupid. Get out of there, <laughs> no way. Uh, he's in that armor. Very smart from um, Cyber. Makes Olimar's recovery a lot better. Gets the sour spot of back air. Not enough to kill. Mark struggling with what Sheik is known to struggle, killing past the those kill percent. Uh, those kill come from percent. Rindos. Olimar, one fifty nine. Gets that Ooh, bouncing the bouncing fish. fish. <coughs> just, <coughs> just throwing the Pikmin off the side because not wanting that color. Yeah, he doesn't want those colors early, um, early on. Actually, no, this is later. For, um, oh man, I could have seen that gone very <coughs> well. Alright, Mark getting a little bit of a combo there, but. Cyber hitting right at a disadvantage there. <coughs> Throws him off stage. We haven't seen a lot of um, Cyber ledge trap in there. Okay, <laughs> as I said like that, it's over. <laughs> oh no, oh, he might uh -oh. be too heavy. He's dead. Yeah, he, he seemed like he kind of just waited there. I think that was, that was definitely a mistake from uh, Cyber, unfortunately. However, Mark is going to take that. <laughs> Puts him up by a slim lead. All of our obviously very capable of taking stock here. Get some tech start. You see him looking for the grab with the blue there? That's yeah. <coughs> Don't get hit by that. I see these games. <laughs> yeah. Alright, catches the roll. They're conditioning at ledge. Oh, the pressure. Look at that. This is what Sheik is known for. Fast pressure. Alright, goes for the double roll. She's there. like the schoolyard bully trying to take your lunch money. Yeah. Cyber goes for the second roll from ledge there. Mark not expecting him to do it again because it's considered a bad option, so it's kind of a mix up to do it twice. <coughs> Ooh, jabs, jabs. It's nice. However, uh, Mark still once again finding himself um, at ledge again. Very good position for him. Gets the two frame, and this is this is just the domination that she can do. Pressure, pressure, pressure. He's gonna do an entire ledge trap stock. It looks like at this rate. Cyber needs to get off ledge, get some Pikmin, and make something happen. <coughs> Dash tag off stage once again. Ready again to ledge trap. <coughs> wow. Whoa, wow, the up air Such kill. incredible pressure from Mark there. Kept him off stage basically the entire stock there. Wow, yeah. Just constant pressure the entire <coughs> time. Make sure I don't lose my car key. Because that would be a travesty. <laughs> Let's try and look at that Twitch chat. Oh yeah, yeah. If, if I can see from your phone, that would be great because. Yeah, am I like on the wrong to... link when I click on it? UGS gaming. Just look for an ultimate. Cool. <coughs> All right, we're going straight back into it. See if we have the same ads. stage. Got that dangle ad happening. You can still see the chat though. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, we gotta stay. Switch, switch. <laughs> Cyber seems to find a little more comfort on the stage apparently. And there's the up smash combos, 52%. However, Sheik definitely not incapable of doing damage. There's a lot of damage if you know how to do the combos. Oh, 
Wow, that was almost an early kill. Yeah, that, that, that was kind of a bad grab out of shield. Um, ultimate grab range, obviously, not very good. Um, and shield push. Uh, oh my god, that Pikmin. Um, thrown off the stage, taking the stock. Fuck, <coughs> needs to make something happen. Alright, there's the pivot grab from Olimar. It's so much range. Wow, oh, full stock lead from Cyber here. <coughs> All just because of that, um, those early combos. He needs the one or two combos in the early game, and then that it's one just over the after kill. that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's not going for the up smash there. He's, Mark says, I need this kill. Up smash, I think, being Cheek's strongest move. <coughs> Alright, finally getting a little bit of ledge trapping from Cyber. Retreating and putting him off stage again. And the up throw. Three stock is ahead. Had that blue Pikmin. <laughs> yeah, I got that. <laughs> he says, give me up smash, I need kill now. <laughs> it's over if I can get, unless I can get the kill now. Yeah, Cyber, poised to take the set. We need a miracle from Mark down. No, he's gonna jump, don't worry. Yeah, you see him looking for these kill options. F smash, up smash. Oh. I just get scared seeing people go under that stage, considering he can throw that purple Pikmin. Uh -huh. If he doesn't check the bottom of the stage, it could be over there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's that needle. Wow, that, that was amazing. <laughs> Alright, those are those kill confirms that I'd like to see a lot more of. Um, Sheik is capable of doing. I believe they're pretty precise in positioning and all that. Alright, fair to jab. Drops the shield on it. Once again, Sheik at ledge. This is a chance to make a comeback, but he has to play perfectly. Keep it light. There we are. Nice parry. Those parries up and it'll be perfect all day. Looking for thing at roll distance. Jump and then trade. That's not good for Mark. He can't be trading. Sheik does not like trades. <coughs> Bones are brittle at this point. Yeah. They don't really have a perfect. Answer. That was so weird. Like when no, they the blew armor. the whistle, it like. It's, it's armor. It's super really? Armor. That's super. Yeah. I had no clue. <laughs> yeah. It's wow. One of the things that makes Olimar a pretty good character. Even though a lot of people say he's fallen off. Definitely still a very viable character. Yeah, uh, <laughs> wow. I was wondering why it was happening so much, like why they were blowing the whistle so much off stage. Yeah, and yeah. Then I, it just makes sense now. Really helpful. All right. Cool. Thank you. Looks like we are done. Take care, everyone. Thank you for Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks a lot. I'll be right back with some more matches after the break.
Surprise, we're back. All right, they need us for one more match. Yeah, we're here still, and Welcome we're here to give you more news of another match. Welcome back to TriPoint on the UPS Switch channel. I believe we're already in a match. I hear some sounds. Uh, I hear Terry, Buster Wolf, <laughs> and Palutena.